Hey guys, it's Di and I wanted to share my toddler gift giving guide for 2012 with you. And this is the majority of the things that the girls are either getting for Christmas or got for Christmas last year. And this guide specifically is great for one year old and two year old girls that are in that kind of toddler mode, maybe are just in the pre-stages of pretend play and are things that they can grow into. These are my favorite items for Christmas 2012. Great gift giving items for parents, but then also if you're looking for a gift for a toddler, I have a few ideas that are always wonderful ideas to give as gifts that toddlers enjoy and parents also enjoy. So hopefully this guide is helpful and thanks so much for watching. So this first section I'm going to call Great Gifts for Toddlers in the $15 to $20 range. And these are great items not only if you're a parent but also if you are an extended family member or maybe friend of the family and you're needing to get something for a toddler that you don't know what they already have. So I have a couple of gift giving ideas for you right up here at the beginning of the video so that way in case you don't want to watch all the big things you can go ahead and click out. So the first thing are these chunky puzzles and this is one by Melissa and Doug and this is actually a great gift for a one-year-old and they actually make ones with more pieces that are great for older toddlers as well so up into the two-year-old range these are something that they can work on their manual dexterity skills with these and also matching up the pictures learning colors learning different words for animals so there's a lot of these different puzzles you can find them at Target I'm sure that they have different puzzles by different brands at places like Walmart Amazon and also retailers like Babies R Us so puzzles are always a great idea if you don't necessarily know what the child has for and one-year-old child probably these chunkier pieces that are really really big and easier for them to work with are the best and then a two-year-old or older two-year-old child they could actually handle smaller pieces and more pieces as well another thing that's great that they can grow into and of course we're a little bit biased around the house because we do love books but if you're looking for a gift for a child that you don't know what they have something from a bookstore like Barnes & Noble is always a great idea because they usually feature a lot of books that are maybe not readily available at places like Target and Walmart and maybe something that the child doesn't already have in their collection. We actually really like these sets around our house and we've got a number of these as gifts and the girls always love these. So what these are are a book. This one in particular is Corduroy Bear book and there was also this Corduroy Bear plush and so the girls received this as a gift from someone in our family uh, together and I thought that that was a really cute idea to get the book and get an animal that goes along with the book as well. And I have one more example here. This is actually a birthday themed one that Natalie just got for her birthday but they have a number of these for Christmas as well. So this is a happy birthday mouse book they also have these in Christmas themes and then a little mouse that goes along with the book so it's very cute for the kids to receive a book and then to have the kind of 3d figure from the book right in front of them so those are a great idea for gift giving if you're not really sure what the child has as well another thing that we love around our house and we have received a number of these as gifts and I absolutely think that this is a great idea are Christmas themed books or whatever holiday or festivity you're buying the child a gift for that they celebrate. I think that these are a great idea to add to their book collection but then also it gives them a little bit of a festive selection as well. So I actually keep all of our holiday books down in this basket and I store it with our holiday decorations and I bring it out once a year when I'm bringing out all of the holiday decorations and the girls know, specifically Bella knows, she's my older two-year-old, knows that she can go in all of her Christmas books will be in this basket right next to the Christmas tree and she can get them out and read them. Some of my favorites in this collection are actually the Baby's First Library of Christmas Words. This is a really great book for younger toddlers around the one-year-old age range because it has really large, bright pictures and is very easy for them to flip the pages and look through. So this has been a great one. Both girls really love this book. And then also one of our favorites is Frosty the Snowman. This is a really cute book and something like this or a similar book should be available at Barnes & Noble or your local bookstore. So these are another great idea if you're not exactly sure what the toddler has that you're getting the gift for to get a festive theme book for whatever holiday that you're planning on getting the gift for. 
This next section I'm going to call gifts for the early toddler or gifts for toddlers that have just turned one year old, maybe are around 18 months old, and are not quite two yet. So these are some gifts that we have for a girl around Natalie's age who just turned one that absolutely she loves and can grow with her as well. So this is something that she just received for her birthday. This vanity is new from Fisher Price this year, and both girls actually love this. My older daughter is two and a half, and it actually captures her attention and keeps it really well as two. I'm holding a book over this because it has a large mirror here in the center that the baby can see the reflection in. So I don't want to blind you guys with that, but it is a really interactive part of this. And I also like that the lights light up around the edges. So this has three modes and it has learning mode, music mode, and play mode. And it's got a lot of great little noises and all of the features on it do different things. So this has been a really great kind of cute girl item that both of the girls have gotten enjoyment out of. This next item is one of my all-time favorite toys that the girls have ever owned. This is something that Bella received for Christmas last year, and I think that this is one of the ultimate Christmas gifts you could get for a child in the 18 months age range. This is something that Bella got when she was around 18 months old and she has gotten a lot of mileage out of it and now Natalie is even enjoying using it. This is the Fisher Price Zoo Talker Zoo and it came out last year and is still available this year as well. And it's held up really well as you can see. I mean this is a Zoo Talker Zoo that has had a year of use. So first of all it's extremely durable and also the great thing about this zoo is it has a lot of different functions. What you do is you take the animal, you stick it over here, And it says not only the animal name, but it also has the sound. So at 18 months old, when they're learning those different animal sounds and animal names, this is a really great tool to kind of help them with that. There's also some cute, just different water sounds and animal sounds on it as well. So there's a lot of different things that they can do it. And I found even my two and a half year old, it's now keeping her attention for pretend play as well. The thing I really love about this as a Christmas gift though, is that it comes with a number of different animals, which last year I was really loathing this idea, but but this year I now see why it was kind of a good idea. A number of these animals are sold separately. So this zoo only comes with about three animals. So the ones that came with it were this lion, the polar bear, and then the gorilla. So all of these animals were sold separately from the zoo and they come individually packaged. They are also a great stocking stuffer size. So if you would like to slowly get the animals over the course of a year, they make great stocking stuffers to put down inside of the child's stocking or also to have other family members get something for a bigger item that you're getting, which I'm starting to become a great fan of that idea. So if you got the zoo for your child, you could then say to the grandparents if they're wanting just some extra little things to pick up to get them two animals that go along say the hippo and the flamingo with the zoo and then it's one kind of gift that ties in with one big gift that the child's getting. So the girls have gotten a lot of mileage out of the zoo and I honestly think it's one of my favorite toys that they have ever gotten. So that is a great gift giving idea for a younger toddler around 18 months old or maybe even a two-year-old. So this is the big gift that my two and a half year old is getting and at two and a half years old they're starting to think more about pretend play. They're starting to grow out of all those baby toys and it's actually a very hard age to buy for because they're not quite ready for the three and up toys that have all the small pieces but the babyish toys that have the very chunky pieces or maybe not a lot going on with them are starting to lose their attention. So I saw this on FisherPrice.com and immediately I was interested because the age range on this is two and up. So I knew that it was something specifically made for two-year-olds. This is the My First Dollhouse and I think that Bella is going to love this. This is her big Christmas gift for the year. It's got three levels on the house and it comes with these three characters. And if you're familiar with the Fisher Price Little People, you can notice that the difference with these first dollhouse people is that they're articulated so they can sit down in seats and are a bit more realistic compared to the little people. So these actually may hold a two-year-old's attention a lot better. Another thing I really like about this set, just like the Zoo Talker set previous to this, is that it has a number of sets that are sold separately so that you could have a grandparent get one of these for a gift. You could maybe give these as gifts for other occasions throughout the year for a birthday and slowly build their collection over time. I did feel, I did buy this dollhouse in a large gift set that came with this My First Dollhouse Mom and Dad's Room. It also came with this Baby's Room set 
and also the TV room. And these three gift sets came with the stall house for one kind of group price. I then elected to also get this sister's room set in addition to those furniture pieces so that way the family had two girls since our family has two girls and it'd be more realistic pretend play. So this is a great option to look at if you have a two year old and you're really kind of stumped for what to get them because this is something that they can not only use right now but I really feel like it'll grow with her before she's really ready for the older dolls like Barbie dolls. Um, this is something that she can use in that kind of in-between time period. The next category of gifts I have for you guys is pretend play and my two and a half year old is just starting to really get into this and so I wanted to get some gifts that would maybe grow with her and also she could utilize to do more pretend play around the house. So one thing that I did is I actually got these on clearance after Halloween so maybe a little bit too late to do this but you can find these Halloween dresses online perhaps on clearance on Toys R Us .com or Amazon.com and these two specifically are from Toys R Us. I got them on super clearance so that way if they get messed up at all while they're playing or that sort of thing um, it's not a big deal but these are great ideas for them to have for dress up. Another cheap idea for pretend play which my two and a half year old is very into right now is hand puppets. These are from Ikea and they're actually very affordable as well. These are only $1.99 and my two and a half year old is very into putting things on her hands right now. So these seem like they were very timely and also for $6 you have like a full little puppet show here. They had a number of cute uh, different themes. They had farm themes, I they believe some clown type of stuff, and this was part of like a circus theme. So I got these three, a monkey, a lion, and an elephant, to give her for some more pretend play opportunities. The last thing is also from Ikea, and we had a problem with plastic food around our house being chewed on by both my older daughter and my younger daughter, so both the one-year-old and the two-year-old. And I found these at Ikea, and these are actually fabric. So it seemed like it would probably solve are chewing problems. So there is a basket of vegetables, there is a plate that has a sandwich on it, and then there's a basket of fruit. And I thought that these were very cute ideas and also again it's from Ikea, so very affordable, $6.99 per one set of these. So this is a great way to add food to your kitchen if you have a play kitchen but you don't really think that the cardboard or plastic food that came with it is going to be durable enough for you or be something that you want them to use. And the last category is joint gifts. So say you have multiple children and you want to get something that both your younger toddler and older toddler can use. For example, I have a two and a half year old and I have a one year old. So it's tough to kind of find things that will work as a joint gift for them. I did find this at the beginning of the season and I absolutely love this for toddler girls. In fact, I knew I wanted to get it for them so much that I bought it on sale in September and I've been just holding it in our basement since then. This is the Fisher Price Little People Disney Princess Cat Castle and it's new for 2012 and it comes with these two characters Cinderella and Snow White and it, it works kind of like the Fisher Price Zoo Talkers Zoo and that you can buy additional things for it and you stick the princesses on the castle and they talk and also has a number of sounds. Obviously I don't have this opened up yet since it is going to be a gift for this year to be able to show you how it functions. I'll be sure to do a review on it but it does look very very promising um, and we are a big Disney family so that's also another reason why this was a must. There's also a few different gift sets. There's a Cinderella's Coach which is available at Walmart and on FisherPrice.com and also an Ariel coach which is available at Target and on FisherPrice.com and those are great items for maybe extended family members to get as gifts. One of our extended family members is actually getting the Ariel's coach for the girls as a part of their gift. And this was also an exclusive set only available at Target that had a number of the princesses down in here. It had seven of the princesses that work in conjunction with this castle. So this may be something that if you shop at Target, you might want to look into getting this set as well. I believe regular price is $17.99, and I also got this on sale for around $14. This is a great gift that I believe will hold both the girls' attention. It should have a lot of fun songs, and of course, they are very into princesses right now, especially my two and a half year old. She's very into the princess idea and castles and she loves the whole idea. So I think that this will be a great gift for both of them. Also as a joint gift, since we already have the Zoo Talkers Zoo, this is a 
another item that is new for 2012 by Fisher Price, and these are the zoo families. There's actually three different families that are new for this year. There's the chimpanzee family, there is the kangaroo family, and there's also the panda family. And these are just really great compliments. If you already have all of the other pieces to the zoo like we do, we already have the safari truck and all of that, these are great options to maybe have grandparents get these or just to add to your zoo and have the extra pieces. You can't unfortunately buy these animals separately. You have to get them as a family of three. So uh, my husband was a little bit worried that maybe our animal collection was getting a little bit excessive. But um, since you cannot buy these animals in singles, we went ahead and got the animal families and they should get a lot of use out of them. And these also have the zoo talker function where you set it on the zoo and it gives the animal name and sound. One of the last things that I got as a joint gift was also from FisherPrice.com and this is the Thomas Bath Tracks bath toy and I actually saw this and got it on sale on Black Friday so I got it at a super discounted price it was around five dollars and eighty eight cents. Normal price actually really isn't that bad on it it's only thirteen dollars and I think that this makes a great joint toy to have in the bathtub. It got fairly good reviews and I'm very excited to get it out for the girls to use. Bella, my older two and a half year old, is very into Thomas the Train right now. So I thought that she would really like that. And it seemed to have better reviews as far as sticking to the side of the tub than some of the other bath toys. And I prefer this type of toy as to squirters and things like that because this is easier to keep clean and kind of keep sanitary and make sure nothing starts growing on it. So I am thinking that both the girls should enjoy this and obviously it should grow with both of them, especially Natalie who's a young toddler, just turned one year old. Um, she will obviously get a lot of use out of it. The last thing is stocking stuffers and I I'm not going to say too much about this because obviously that's a fairly easy one. Most stores these days have a large stocking stuffer selection and so you can go through. But I will say that we love these little Willys cars. Even if you don't have one of the Willys sets, these make great stocking stuffers that are only $3. So this is just kind of a fun thing just to toss down into the kid's stocking and they can instantly play with it just as a little car. And it's also chew friendly so even like an 18 month old that's still chewing on everything can still use these. You don't have to worry about the wheels coming off. I have two kids that are both chewers, so I have to kind of keep that in mind. Another great thing which I also talked about were the animals for the Zoo Talker Zoo. The ones that come in singles make great gift ideas as well for stockings, and then of course little books and any sort of special food item that your child likes may also be a great stocking stuffer idea. So that is my toddler gift giving guide for toddler girls in the age range of one to two. Hopefully this has been helpful for you guys and that you've enjoyed seeing what the girls are getting for Christmas. This was a fun one for me to make so I really enjoyed it and hopefully you guys are having a great day. Thanks so much for watching.